and there is the hypothesis that is that the some of the of this latest variant could have been um, avoided if vaccination were to be deployed across the globe uh, more rapidly. But that's a hypothesis. The true thing is that we need to vaccinate millions of people yet, particularly in the poor and developing world. Uh, and not necessarily they are the, the, so the, the health system conditions to do that in a fast way. So we need to have the vaccines available for everybody and have the means to uh, distribute and to apply those vaccines. And I think that's one of the key um, bottlenecks that we are experiencing. And the other one, not necessarily in poor countries, it, it's also, we see that on the developed world, is the resistance to vaccination. I think the UAE is one of the world's examples of high levels of uh, vaccination. Costa Rica, we aspire to that, and now we have almost 80% of our population with at least one dose, and more than 60% with two doses, which is very good. And we are, haven't got any further because we are on the process of getting the, the vaccines, but, but we are in a good place right now. I have to say that we, we need to learn a lot. For example, just to mention one thing, I went today to uh, Mazda City and uh, there was like a dream come true for, for me, the, the one-stop shop to creating, uh, to, for creating companies. And it's less than $400 and in 24 hours you can start your company with whatever you need to do. So, uh, in many countries, not only in Costa Rica, in Latin America, will love to have something like that. And that has to do a lot with digitalization, with a government oriented to business and to job creation and to investment and to the private sector. Um, so th that is why we keep thriving in that direction. We need more of those traits in uh, how our governments function in Latin America. Many people might think that we are far away, not only because of the distance, but because of uh, how our countries are. Uh, but I see it the other way around. Uh, our countries are very similar in scale, and they both have great strengths in different areas. I mean, Costa Rica is a leader in sustainability uh, around the world, and that's very renowned, green country. Um, and, uh, and the Emirates, they have this strength of innovation, the finance capacity, the logistics capacity. Uh, and for example, we have trading goods that are not, that are scarce in this region. So you see, we complement ourselves. We complement ourselves very well. So being present here is a way to take that partnership to a next level. And we have seen that in areas such as logistics, we want to take it to a next level because we are both in strategic, uh, strategic positions, uh, one here in the Gulf, uh, in our case, in the middle of the Americas.